Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm on here. In this video, I'm going to benchmark Dawn of War 2 on a single GTX 970 installed on uh, my proper machine, which uh, has the Core i5 2500. This is a digital recording at 60 frames per second for uh, new users. The recording takes place on an external recorder, so what you will see here will be pure performance. As you can see, the system is idling perfectly right now, so it is it is not doing any recording. I'm using my Core i5 2500, running at 4 gigahertz, 4.8 gigahertz. Sorry. It has 16 gigabytes of memory, and the graphics card is a GTX 970 gigabyte G1 running at these clocks. But the real boost is 1.5 gigahertz. We will see that at the end of the video. Uh, for this benchmark, I'm going to use the built in uh, benchmark tool of the game. So I don't need fraps for monitoring, only for uh, OSD. I am Gabriel. Okay, let's go directly to the options. Graphics. Okay, I'm using the Ultra Preset 1080p resolution. Okay, and I'm starting the test. So the benchmark run has finished, we have an average frame rate of 107 frames per second, maximum 202 and minimum 56, very nice uh, result for the nature of this game, this game will be, this benchmark will be CPU limited until I start using 4K resolution or something. Let's take a quick look at the CPU load. Very high CPU load on the fourth core. This is probably the CPU limit right there. Let's see MSI after burner. The benchmark starts with very high frame rate and gradually drops to around 60 and a little bit lower, but still very close to 60 all the time even in this big battle GPU usage of course is far from uh, being at maximum CPU temps the CPU usage here again we see that, uh, that there are some uh, very high spikes high load spikes 
RAM usage is at 4.5 gigabytes at its maximum. The power of the card reached a little above 70%. GPU temps very low. One point five gigahertz for the core clock of the card. Six hundred megabytes of uh, video memory used, and this is where the video ends. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.